Australia will spend $833 million to boost its long-range strike capabilities. On Monday, it finalised a deal to buy more than 200 Tomahawk cruise missiles from the United States, part of a wide-ranging defence shake-up. Australia says it needs to upgrade its defence forces as China is undertaking the biggest military build-up since the end of World War II. The Defence Minister said, and I quote, We are investing in the capabilities needed to hold our adversaries at risk further from our shores. Richard Moss flagged a complex and uncertain world. The Tomahawks have a range of 1,500 kilometres. The ship-launched version of the missiles will be deployed on the Royal Australian Navy's Hobart-class destroyers. Amid China's irrational territorial claims, Australia agreed to work with the US and UK to develop a nuclear-powered submarine fleet. In addition to the Tomahawks, Australia will purchase more than 60 advanced anti-radiation guided missiles from the US. Long-range anti-tank guided missiles would also be bought for Australian Army's Boxer Combat Reconnaissance Vehicles. The Tomahawk announcement came days after the US approved a possible sale to Australia of M142 HIMARS for $975 million. According to the Centre for Strategic and International Studies, China has the most active and diverse missile development programme in the world. Beijing is modernising its intercontinental ballistic missiles, developing multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles and hypersonic boost glide vehicles. China's Navy is also developing a new fleet of ballistic missile submarines. Advances in intelligence surveilling and in, in, intelligence surveillance, should I say, and reconnaissance and manoeuvring re-entry vehicles has given Beijing emerging capability to attack large naval vessiles with long-range ballistic missiles.